Mr. Dent, what goes on in here first? Well, in the event that they're safe, no. Let, let, let's do it a different way. Okay. Now, see, I don't want to do it as if this is the coroner's office. Mm -hmm. well, this is the Okay. Uh, in this facility, what happens is, say for instance, there is an accident and the, the case is worked by whatever jurisdiction it comes from, whether it be Arkansas, Louisiana, whatever. This facility can be used to bring the, the individual that's deceased in. They can be examined on either one of these tables, whether it be just for uh, collection of evidence or whether it be for obtaining toxicolo toxicology specimens, toxicology specimens, or complete autopsy exam. We also have the capabilities out here to embalm and preserve. Also in the suite next door, we have the capabilities of doing, doing um, organ harvest and organ donation. Mm -hmm. So this facility is designed, it, it, it's one of the only facilities like this that is designed to have once a person is deceased, you can pretty much go from organ harvest to mortuary service to embalming to primarily anything that involves you know, deceased individuals. Can you share with us what is your official title and what your duties are? Well, my official duty in Arkansas is I'm a licensed funeral director, licensed in Baltimore. I work as the chief deputy coroner. That's my full-time position here in Pulaski County, Arkansas. I'm also uh, on the board of embalmers and funeral directors, and I also serve on the uh, FEMA Regional Task Force for uh, Advisory Council. And that task force, Region 6, covers Arkansas, Texas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, and New Mexico. Let's talk about circumstances involving fire. What would be the normal protocol, let's say in 1959, mm -hmm. what would have happened then to those boys in particular that died? What should have happened? Well, in 1959, naturally, we didn't have the, what's in place these days for forensic sciences. Uh, 1959 in the state of Arkansas and in Pulaski County, uh, the situation of the fire, from what, I, what, I, what I've studied and what I've, I've tried to obtain from any records, is that the fire occurred, there was 21 young men that lost their life during the fire. Immediately after the fire, uh, a team came in to do the investigation and once the investigation was determined, and they, they, they found that they had this many fatalities, uh, I think they summoned several funeral homes, dispatched them to the scene where they took charge and custody of the bodies. And ultimately, I think it was a couple of days later that they all were um, actually buried in a series of graves. Okay. Should there have been medical examination done either by the coroner's office or the medical examiner's office? Well, in these days, yes. And back in that, that time, I don't know how the system actually worked. Uh, if, if that had occurred this day, you would probably see several teams of investigators. Uh, the state would have their investigators, the county would have their investigators. Sorry. 